Hi, it's Jan from the mountain. I'm bringing you more moments from my life here in a medieval village on top of a mountain in Tuscany. Today I'm going to bring you working with some panels that I've woven and framing the portrait I finally finished of my daughter. Here it is, still on the board. And I've just got a cheap Fiskbow frame here on the chair from Ikea. I've always been on a tight budget. I want a simple frame and these are the cheapest of the cheap frames but they are made out of wood. I just buy the white ones and I'll show you what I do with it in a minute. This is the portrait. I'm not a professional artist. I love painting. I made some paintings for fun of my family in Renaissance clothing and in each painting there is something that we enjoy or that we love personal to the, the person. In my daughter's case it's a violin and her, our little dog Maya. Here is my trusty gilding wax and a little of it goes a long way and so I'm just rubbing it onto the frame. It looks as though I keep dipping my finger into the wax which is what I am doing but I'm taking a tiny amount at a time and it just spreads. It spreads easily. Oh, move my picture out of the way. It doesn't take long. To be perfectly honest it only takes five or ten minutes. I put the gilding wax all over the front of the frame the inside rim and a little bit around the back where it's angled. Now it doesn't matter if I get this gilding wax onto the clear part because it's perspex and it's got a cover which I'll show you in a very short space of time. Now if you're enjoying my videos please subscribe to my channel because I'm trying to reach 100 subscribers by Christmas. Please like the video and also hit that notification bell so you'll be the first to hear about my new videos when they're released. Anyway, back to the frame. I put my gilding wax on but I didn't put it onto the back because I didn't want any to rub off onto the wall. It shouldn't because it does dry and it doesn't come off. But I've, got, I've got a few smears as you can see. I'll just take the first part off which is cardboard then there's the paper insert. Now I just have to take the portrait off my board. Keeps it from stretching too much when I'm painting. Keeps everything in shape. One more piece, I'm nearly there. Okay, now what I do because my paper is slightly bigger than the frame, so the logical thing to do is to just have a quick look against the cardboard insert just to see the bits that are over the edge and then just trim the picture so it will fit. I always get a bit nervous at this bit because I don't want to ruin the picture. Just making sure here. Okay, I'll need to get my straight edge, get my board back first then I'll get the straight edge and a sharp knife, a craft knife, so that I can just trim the paper so it will fit into the frame. There's my straight edge. I've got a craft knife in my craft desk, my craft table. I have to score it quite firmly actually go through cleanly. Now I trim 
around each side, try and do it as evenly as possible. out of the way and if it is the right size I can put it into my frame I think it looks as though we can we can do it it looks as though it will fit I always keep this extra paper insert so that it gives more of a snug fit inside the frame so that my picture's not, or at least it's less likely to float about. Here's that cover I told you about earlier on. It just peels back. It's on both sides. And it's a perspex window, so to speak, because one, it's cheap, it's lightweight, but it's also safer because it won't break. a simple frame. My rooms are small and it goes quite nicely. And there it is. A finished framed portrait of my daughter, the last in the family series. There are the other ones. Excuse my messy desk there. I've been working on my Etsy shop this morning on my posters. There's the first painting I did, my eldest daughter. Her dog is my son. I'm in the middle there. And there's the latest one. And they've all got to be hung. So maybe I'll show you that next time. These are some panels that I've been weaving. It was my second attempt, but my first proper attempt at doing something. And it was probably the wrong project to take on because it was quite, it didn't grow very quickly for a first go and I felt a little bit disheartened sometimes but this is one of the panels that I just need to trim. I've woven in the ends, I didn't want a tassel. So I've woven in and sewn in the end bits just for a smooth finish. I just need to trim off the extra bits that make it look untidy. There we are, looks a bit better. Can't see it from the front. So what I will do, I need to turn back a small hem. Before I do that, this is the other panel. This really was very much learning for me. I did all sorts of different textures, different weights of, of thread, some finer than others, just to see the effect. I wanted to do a, a diamond weave within the thread so that you can, like a twill I suppose, I think it's what it's called, I'm not sure, and it's 
the finer the thread, the smaller the pattern. So this bit, this bit of the panel is actually going at the back. I also made a little square which was intended just to go under things. It can go under a vase or a bowl or something that's on the table in the same sort of pattern as an experiment. I've got some rods to hold the panel in place and I just need to turn back enough of the top of the panel just to thread it through. So I'm not doing anything meticulously, I'm just doing it by eye and I shall keep testing that the rod can go through. And I'm just going to catch it by hand in just a hem stitch so that the rods can feed through and hold my woven panel in place. speed things up a little bit because it doesn't take very long but you don't want to watch me sewing the whole panel in what would be normal time. Just finish off. Cut the thread. Oh good, the rod fits nicely. I'll just take it over and see what it looks like. There's a few mistakes in my weaving there, but I was just learning. wash my weaving before I worked on it and it didn't shrink um, my weaving it pulls in when you weave so I should have done it a little bit wider than I needed to but I'm not unhappy with the way this looks now I just need to finish weaving the side panels and get them attached and it'll be fantastic just what I wanted 